Hey, how's everybody going? So, I was saying before that it's nice when you watch and join YouTube channels uh, for something that you're interested in, like in this case, off-grid solar. Thank you for watching this. I'm going to just share with you some tips and mistakes that I've made so you don't make the same mistakes, especially financially, with uh, your setup. And um, I really enjoy this setup. Uh, it's working very well. So I have two solar trackers. And uh, one solar tracker I have called Manny and Mo. Uh, if you follow the channel, you already know. This device is absolutely fantastic. This thing is rated at 2,000 watts. And it's never exceeded 2,000 watts. The limiter circuit in here works so well. I highly recommend this. I got this on Amazon by YNH. Uh, this is the 230 volt single phase 230 volt output one. That's hardwired. This is not the. They make one that's a thousand watts and a 2,000 watts. I'm sure they make a bunch of different sizes, but I really like this. Look how this thing hangs right at that amount. It won't go over that. It will limit it. So I've got. This is Mo. He's giving me 1.6. And also I've got Manny, because I have Manny and Mo. I've got two inputs here. And what I just did was added this battery. And I got this battery, it was on sale from Amazon, because I needed more batteries. Now I know I'm capitulating a little bit. I have said other videos, don't buy batteries, don't waste your money on batteries. Your EV is gonna be your batteries and your power wall, but we're just not there yet, guys. And uh, with the warranties and messing around with your car battery, I'm, I'm just going to tell everybody to hold off. Let's not make a jump into something and make a mistake that could cost you. Uh, I'm experimenting. I have a bunch of different cars. So you can watch what I do. And um, if it works, I'll certainly tell you. I've, I've got a couple of nice things going down in the pipeline. But let's talk about these three batteries. So we've got two 48 volt batteries and one 51.2 volt battery. How could that be? Well, these are 15 cell uh, 3.2 battery packs, modules inside here, 15 of them. This one has 16, hence the 48 volt and the 51.2 volt. Well, when I originally purchased this on Amazon, it said 48 volt. It said that it was compatible with 48 volt and and then it came in at 51 volt. And it does come from China and it took about a month to get here. So I really didn't want to return it. So what I did was I connected it and just let it self balance out. And it's working really well. So if I turn on the BMS here and we go into the status, uh, 55 volts was the fully charged on it and let's go down to capacity because this thing had gone all the way down capacity enter look at that 100 amp hour I'm at 100% state of charge in addition to these guys so all three of these are 100% charged now I'm still in a bright sunny solar day but these should be charging so Right alone, I don't have enough batteries. You're, if your batteries completely charge on a normal daily cycle, a Sunday, sun, you know, solar day, you need more batteries. So I'm already, that's how good these solar trackers and this equipment. And this is low cost. This guy's very low cost. I don't know, this is maybe 80 bucks. This one is maybe $400. Um, and they're working very well. So one one of the subscribers sent me a message, hey, just get another battery. Because what will happen is, if, if I don't have these batteries tied back in, feeding my off-grid to help supplement it, this will shut off. This will end my solar day. Because it has no power, no place for the power to go into. So I don't want that. I'm gonna show you another mistake I made. And this one is more of a bigger mistake because I didn't know. And I was planning, when I put these two solar trackers out, these guys were set out in the summer solstice. 
And now that we're getting into the winter solstice, you can see that shadow. So Manny is definitely overlapping Mo, and acutely so earlier in the morning. So right now it's almost noon, and I'm got this overlappage. And then as it gets to about 5 p.m., this tree blocks Mo. So I didn't space these properly. So these are 15 feet apart. I recommend you going 20 feet apart. But this is just the per first phase of what I'm doing if you follow the channel. I'm getting all solar panels that are on order for the roof here. That's going to charge directly my e-transit vans. See you guys.